right, welcome back to Mrs. Watstein's art class. Today what we're going to do is we are going to paint a sunrise using the warm colors in our palette and we're going to transition down into the mountains. So for the mountains we're going to use our greens and blues and for our sunrise we're going to use warm colors. You'll notice in your palette we have warm colors on one side and cool colors on the opposite side. So I'm just going to move my paint out of the way so I have room. And you're quite literally just going to paint horizontal lines across your piece of paper. We're going to start with this black brush to spread the watercolors nicely. We're going to use two different kinds of paint and you'll see how it goes in just a second. Um, we'll transition into a different painting in a minute. So here I go. I'm going to start with my red and I'm just loading my brush up with red here. See? You might need to dip your brush a couple times to get you started, but you don't want to make a swimming pool in the paint. And then you're going to come and go nice and across your whole piece of paper. I definitely need more water into my paint right now. <clears throat> and I'll start with this layer of orange, which is fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep changing colors and blending my colors to create this idea of a sunrise. So you can see I'm going all the way from edge to edge of my piece of paper. And I definitely want to darken these up so I'm continuing to load my brush with more and more paint. go back to my red, darken that up, I'm going to come to my next orange in my palette, add some of that in, and I think I'll come and grab some yellow. Overall, what we're going to do is we're going to create a landscape and we're going to create it in the form of a collage. So you'll see we're actually going to tear this paper up in a little bit, but we'll get to that. So here's my sunrise. I'm going to clean the yellow out of my brush now and I'm going to come in and grab a blue. And blue is going to be the start of my mountains. And I am going to kind of come in and give it a zigzag line across the top to represent mountains and there's not really a right or wrong way that you can do that and I'm fine with a little of my orange blending into my blue so don't stress about that either and you can darken the blue up or if you like it the way it is leave it but notice all the way across back and forth I'm going to transition into some green for the bottom of my paper here, all the way back and forth. Okay, I'm adding a little blue now, and I'm just gonna kind of blend my green and blues into each other, and then I'm gonna load up with green one more time to really darken it up. So here is our landscape. Now what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to transition into a new piece of paper. Because like I said, we're making a collage. And a collage is when you have many pieces of paper as part of the composition. So we're going to move this off to the side to dry. I'm going to grab my next piece of paper. Now on this one, we're going to do trees, and we're going to use tempera paint. And I'm going to put my paint, your paint, our paint, on one of these palettes. And you're going to change the brush that you're using as well. Come on, paint. Okay. 
and you're also going to use a piece of board for your painting today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my paintbrush into a wide tip and I'm going to only put the paint on the end and then I'm going to point it upright. So see I have the paint only on the end and when I come in to do my trees now I'm going to go now in a vertical line from top to bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the outline of the tree and then we're going to come and take the board and we're making kind of birch tree styles today. So we're going to use the board to move the paint into your tree. Okay, you can do your lines at first, all at first, or you can do one at a time and make the lines what we call more organic by changing the direction. And we're going to fill this whole paper up. You can give your trees branches if you want. Um, you can also have them um, come kind of down. I'm gonna add a little extra paint onto here for spreading. Okay, great. Now, we have our two paintings. Now comes for the deconstruction part. So here's what you're gonna do next. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. We're gonna come back to this one. And now what we're going to do with this one is we're actually going to rip it up and we're going to make it into many different pieces. So I'm going to come across the top and there's really not a right or wrong way to do this. And I'm going to kind of make sure I'm moving my paper so I don't get just a super straight line. And I'm going to lay it up. Here I'm going to be a little bit more careful because I'm going to try and make the outline of my mountains. So it's a bit of a push, or excuse me, a pinch and pull. But we want the torn edge, that's why we're not using scissors. So now we have our layers and we're going to take a third piece of paper. What I'm going to do is scoot these off to the side. And now my next step is to glue these on. But before I glue, I'm going to lay them on here and get them situated because I want them tucked under so that we see that torn edge because that gives us a really nice looking landscape.
So now I'm gonna take our glue and we're gonna get these glued down. First I'm just gonna go down the side and glue down the sides. And then I'm gonna come back and glue them all down more firmly once I got my them laid out. I need some more glue. So now that I have them the way that I want them, I can even come back and glue these all down. It's kind of a big space, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Last but not least. Okay. Now we've got this lovely landscape. And what we're going to do we're going to bring our birch trees back. So I'm going to move my landscape out of the way. For these, we are going to use scissors. We're going to cut them out. step after we've cut them all out will be to add them onto our landscape. I'm going to finish cutting this one and then I'll show you what it looks like and you'll be able to finish yours. Again, this is called a collage because we're adding more than one piece of paper down. So now I'm going to take these Paper, get them glued down like this, and flip this one 